Hey everyone, welcome to this second video from the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show here in Las Vegas. I'll provide a link to the first video for Yahoo Digital Crave if you haven't seen it. We covered things like 4K TV, like the ones behind me at the Sony booth, and wearable tech, some of the big buzzwords and trends here at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Two million square feet of showroom floor space to roam around, so I got even more great gadgets for you in this second video. Let's start off with the LG G Flex. This is billed as the world's first curved flexible smartphone. Take a look at that, it is concave. So just like the LG curved L, uh, OLED TVs that they have here, now in a smartphone as well. So why do you want it? Well, similar to a TV, it's uh, optimi optimizing your viewing uh, experience when it is concave and leaning towards you. It also fits the contours of your face nicely when you hold it up, so it fits uh, nicely, as well as uh, more comfortable, more durable. Now, speaking of durability, get this. This phone has what's called a self-healing back. So it'll actually repair itself from things like scratches. Amazing, so you throw it in your pocket or your purse with a set of car keys by accident, it'll actually heal itself if there are minor scratches. So amazing self-healing technology. It's a beautiful six inch Android Jelly Bean phone coming out at some point in 2014. It's already out, already out in some parts of Asia, I believe in Korea, where LG is based. So really cool stuff, the LG G Flex. Next up, one of the big trends here at the show is connectivity. It's often referred to as the internet of things. All of your devices talking to one another. And here's a, a really cool example of that from WD called MyCloud. As the name suggests, this is your own personal cloud. So it's an external hard drive where you load up all of your music and photos and videos, your documents. Now, anywhere in the world, on any device that you're connected to the internet with, you can access all of your content securely. So this stays at home. You're not paying a cloud service to store your, your content and pay a monthly service which is often limited, you get like five or 10 gigs for free. This is a one terabyte, one terabyte hard drive, sorry, two terabyte hard drive for 149 or four terabyte hard drive for 249. Load it all up, you can stream movies to your mobile device like an iPad or an Android phone, or you can download it. If you know you're about to board a five hour flight with no Wi-Fi, you can download it to your mobile device and watch it offline. I love the fact that it's in your home, it's your own password protected cloud for 149 to start for two terabytes. That's again, the WD My Cloud. Speaking of mobile devices, a lot of us play games on them, especially iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. If you are an iOS 7 gamer, then you're gonna love this new product. This is from Steel Series called the Stratus Wireless Controller. It's the first Bluetooth controller for iOS devices. So it feels like a small console-like controller with face buttons, a D-pad, you know, it's got two analog sticks, shoulder buttons, up to four people can connect to one device at the same time, each of which is lightweight, it's got a 10-hour battery, it works with more than 500 games at this point in time from the App Store, including Grand Theft Auto uh, and Riptide, and a lot more coming uh, in the future. So it's a $99 device. You can buy it from SteelSeries.com. Next up, Wi-Fi baby monitors. This is a reality. This is a, the D-Link Wi-Fi baby monitor that lets you look in on your young ones while they're in their bed, in their crib, at home. It's got a night vision mode. It's got a night light that you can activate through a smartphone app or a tablet uh, app. You can uh, remotely access uh, the camera, of course, and also talk to them. There's a two-way voice control. You can set up to five different lullabies for them. You can, it even has a temperature gauge, by the way. It'll tell you when the room is too hot. It'll, it'll look like a red stripe on your um, app. It'll be blue if it's too cold or green if it's just right. There's also alerts you can set up. If it detects movement or sound, it can send you a notification. Even after your children are, or, or, are older, it's a nanny cam. It's a great video surveillance solution for the home. 179 for the D-Link Wi-Fi baby monitor. Very cool product. It's not just gadgets or, or hardware that's here at CES, also software, including this product here. It's the Norton 360 Multi-Device from Symantec. As the name suggests, it protects up to five devices that you own, whether it's a PC, a Mac, tablet, or smartphone. It's no secret that malware, malicious software, like viruses, are now affecting your mobile devices, like Android tablets and, and, other, and, and iPhones and uh, Android phones, so this protects it all from that. It's just like, you know, antivirus on your PC. The, the attention is moving to your mobile device. Plus it helps you remotely track it. If you lose it, you can see it on a map. You can remotely lock it. You can remotely wipe the data clean. You can even activate what's called the screen mode. If you maybe left your phone in the couch cushions and you can't find it, even if it's on silent or mute, you can scream, have it loud, this emit a loud alarm so you can find it. It's $99 for five devices. That uh, locking feature is 30 uh, bucks on its own. So it's good value there as it's built in. So once again, that's the Norton 360 multi-device, great product, $99 for up to five devices. Next up, 
who doesn't love robots? And at the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show, there's no shortage of them here, including little guys like this from Wowie. It's called the MIP. This is uh, billed as the first uh, robot, a consumer entertainment robot that can balance on two wheels. Take a look at that. I guess it's uh, some sort of internal gyroscope, much like a Segway, and it has a lot of fun interacting with the environment. It's talking, it's singing, it's uh, dancing around. It could even, by the way, there's a little tray that it comes with and even bring you a drink. You put the tray there and put the, uh, you know, the drink on top. It's a lot of fun. There's going to be a free app that's going to work with it as well. Oh, he didn't like that very much. Uh, when this comes out in May for $99 from Wowie, it's called the MIP. So a lot of fun. I'm just going to put him to sleep for now and end off on uh, some very cool car technology. Ford is here with a solar powered car concept. So get this, there are solar cells lining the top of this car. It's a modified C-Max Energy plug-in car that can let you drive about 20 miles uh, using the electric motor powered by the sun's rays before it kicks into gas. So if you live in a city and you work in the same city, then you know, you're not commuting too long, then you might never want to pump gas again. You can uh, use the electric motor generated by solar cells on top of the roof. Ford is a clear leader when it comes to green tech and uh, you know, really cool stuff, a lot of hybrids, a lot of electrified vehicles, and here they are at CES showing off their solar-powered car, uh, a glimpse into the future, which is really what we're all about here at the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show. I'm Mark Saltzman. Hope you enjoyed it. Ciao.